Hello everybody, Andrew Maeski here with Dental L. So it is that time where it's time to think about whether you want to do your dental portfolio, or I should say your dental hygiene portfolio, or if you want to take your quality assurance exam. So if you are a dental hygienist in Ontario, if you are audited, which we all will be at some point, I was actually audited about five years ago and I am audited again for next year. So I will be either submitting my portfolio or taking the quality assurance exam. I've done a video like this before, probably about a couple months ago, and I've completely changed my mind on what I'm going to do. So I did say before that I would take the quality assurance exam because to me, I have never had problems taking exams. Plus, I am a tutor for dental hygiene um, students, dental assisting um, students. I do help people study for the quality um, um, assurance exam, and I help people with my um, portfolio workshop course also. So I kind of do everything. So I thought, well, I'll just take the exam because that's easier. I'll be done in a couple hours. That's it. But I've actually changed my mind. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my dental hygiene portfolio instead. Um, again, I might even change my mind closer to the date, but I take courses all the time. I take courses all the time, honestly. I'm constantly just going to um, vivalearning.com. They have free courses where if I'm cleaning the house, or I know I probably sound like such a nerd, but it's true. If I'm cleaning the house, if I'm you know, taking it easy and just want to sit on the couch for like an hour and listen or watch something. Instead of watching Netflix, I go to um, vivalearning.com and I take a course. So I'm constantly taking courses because I am that person that if you stop learning, you're not helping anybody. You're not helping yourself. You're not helping your patients. So I do like to learn. And when I take a course, I just, I just always find them so inspiring that I just feel good and I want to take my knowledge and share it with my, my patients. I sound like such a nerd, but it's true. So I think what I'm going to do, and again, I could change my mind, but I think I am going to take the portfolio. Um, I just have to get everything organized. So yes, I do take a lot of courses, but do I necessarily write it down? No, but you really should. So if you're like me, who you haven't, then the exam might be better for you, but I'm going to try my luck with the portfolio. Plus I did start my own dental hygiene mobile practice last year. So I kind of want to put all of my notes in that. I took a lot of courses to prep for that. So I do have those hours in. So I think it would be great, but you know, I, Maybe doing the portfolio might mean they'll pay more attention to me, which nobody really wants, but I work so hard to do everything right, to do everything by the book, that I feel like I have nothing to hide either, as I'm sure you all don't either. But um, yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts, and you do have to pay for the exam where you don't have to pay for the portfolio. Um, and you know, it's not about the money, but when we have to pay yearly, for our licenses, for our insurance, just one more thing to pay for. I'd rather not. I kind of wanna just see what happens with my portfolio. I'm sure they will call me, they will want me to explain more, but I'm going to do it. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts, but comment below, because I wanna hear what you're thinking about doing and why. If you've done your portfolio before or taken the quality assurance exam before, let us know just feel free to comment below let us know let's talk about it because a lot of people don't like that we have to do the portfolio or take the quality assurance exam but i think it's a great idea because we all need to be on the ball we don't want to let anything slide and not do the best that we possibly can but that's just me being a nerd again so thank you guys for listening let me know if you're taking or have taken the portfolio or the quality assurance exam. If you need help with those too, by the way, let me know because I do have a full quality um, assurance course where I teach you everything that you have to know to pass your exam. But I do also have a dental hygiene portfolio course as well where I teach you guys how to do the portfolio because I have done it before and obviously passed. So I just like to teach you guys on everything. Thank you for listening. I will see you guys in the next one.